Hi everyone! Let's talk about painting mugs. Today I will tell you how to start your mug painting adventure. Let's cover the basics. First off, to be able to decorate a mug permanently, you will need a special type of ceramic or porcelain paint. Regular paint like acrylics won't last a long time on ceramics. There are different brands to pick from and different types of paint, from mud to glossy, metallic, glitter, semi-transparent or even opaque. The one I'm using at the moment needs to be air dried a few hours after applying it and then burned in the oven for 90 minutes at 160 degrees Celsius. Before using the paint, you need to shake it or mix it well so that the paint can disperse, especially if it's glitter or metallic. It's kind of the same like you would do with nail polish. And these types of paints, however, to the best of my knowledge, should not come in contact with food directly. So make sure to paint only on the outside of your mug and leave a reasonable rim at the top for comfortable drinking. You may also choose to use paint markers. I like to have a black one handy for the final line work. They are especially useful when you want to write some pearls of wisdom on your mug. Finally, you can also choose to cover your paint with a special protective sealant in the matte or glossy variants. I find it that even without them, the paint is pretty durable. The next thing you will need are paint brushes of various sizes, and it's up to you to pick the size that's the most comfortable. I tend to use size zero or even double zero for painting small details. As you can see, they are well used and some of the bristle ends are no longer sharp. I will definitely need to restock my paintbrushes soon. Instead of paintbrushes, or additionally to paintbrushes, you can also use sponges and q-tips. They are great for creating different effects on the mug. You can also use them for cleaning up any mistakes. Keep your water container at hand to be able to clean your brushes often. Once the paint dries on the brush, it may not be easy to remove it. When picking a mug you want to paint, make sure it's microwave safe. It's not a must, but this way you know it won't get damaged when you're burning it in the oven. I had mugs that completely lost their original color and even got burned as they were not meant to be exposed to such temperatures. Once you've picked the mug you want to decorate, clean it well. You can use rubbing alcohol to make sure there is no soap residue left on it or even fat particles from your fingertips. It's not a necessary step, but it will ensure your artwork will last much longer. Let me show you some of my ready creations to give you some ideas of how different paints look on finished mugs. This is glossy paint on a mug that has matte finish. And this is how metallic paint looks like. Here we have gold paint. It catches light and sparkles beautifully. It's one of my favorite mugs. It's a really simple and geometric design, but it doesn't have to be very complicated to just make us smile and make us happy and add something very special to a very plain white mug. And that's all you need to start personalizing your favorite mugs. Let me know if there is anything else you'd like to know about. And in the meantime, check out my other tutorial where I show how to create a background with a sponge and a stencil. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.